Hi everybody, welcome back! Sipsopolis, my god, it has been a long ass time since I've played in Sipsopolis. Uh, I'm back from my holiday. I had a pretty much a three week break, uh, but I batch recorded a shit ton of stuff uh, which saw me through while I was away over Christmas and New Year. Sadly, poor, uh, poor Uncle Phil, my god! He actually died in real life. I can't believe it. A lot of people were saying that I should rename this uh, Mega Tower the Uncle Phil Memorial Mega Tower. It will be done. Poor Uncle Phil is up there in heaven right now, probably yelling at Will uh, for doing all sorts of dastardly deeds. Of course, uh, Will Smith, I'm not even sure whether he's alive or not. I sort of lost track of him after Wild Wild West. If you remember that one, Wicka Wicka Wild. Um, it turns out that that movie wasn't actually Wicked Wicked Wild. Uh, it was wildly shit, actually. Um, maybe you liked it. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I certainly did not like Wild Wild West. <laughs> it wasn't very good. Anyway, uh, Uncle Phil is surely up there in heaven yelling at Will Smith for, uh, for making that terrible movie. Uh, and we're back. We're in Sipsopolis. It looks like there's lots of traffic jams. Look at this. It's in slow motion. Look at the view from up here. My god. Um, I changed uh, a setting. I've been playing a lot of SimCity actually over the holidays and messing around with different settings, uh, playing around with different designs and stuff, and I've had a lot of fun actually. Uh, it's not the greatest game to a lot of people. A lot of people do not like this game. Uh, it's, it's fairly widely documented on the internet um, how bad some of the bugs and stuff are. Uh, but I am personally enjoying it. Uh, I really like it. I really uh, have a lot of fun designing stuff and making stuff look nice to me, uh, which is very good. Uh, so here we go. Look at this. This is planning view, uh, which gives you this like uh, sort of further out look of the city. Look at how far out I can go. Look at that. Look, I can get like the whole city within uh, the window now instead of just like a, a portion of it. And it's very good for going up and over. Look, look at this. You can do this like top down view, really get in there and plan the roads. And you can see, look, you can see how uh, your main sort of artery avenues are hooked up to all the uh, sort of smaller avenues and stuff. And it just looks pretty cool, actually. It's a nice nice view, a nice top-down view. You can imagine that you're some sort of soaring eagle above it all. Uh, when you get over the Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower, maybe uh, you feel a bit sick because there's probably lots of like weird exhaust fumes and stuff coming off the back of this uh, Generation 1 solar power crown, which is currently powering the whole city. It's probably causing a bit of a stink, you know. There's probably a lot of uh, a lot of bird poops on there, which are like frying on the solar panels. Uh, because birds, when they're soaring, like if we imagine right now that we're a bird, look at this. We're soaring gracefully. Oh, hang on, wrong button. Look at this. See, sort of like following the wind and everything. There's a nice plane down there, and you get over the mega tower, and you think, "Yep, yeah, it's time." You take a nice big shit and it lands right on the solar panel uh, and of course those things are hot as hell and it fries much like an egg uh, but not uh, an egg that you would want to eat because actually it's bird poo. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. Cheetah speed. We are making 1,561 big ones an hour. We have 95,677 in the bank and our population is a whopping 105,458 Sons of bitches <laughs> living in Sipsopolis right now. There weren't enough freight shipments uh, for this place. Uh, we got to sort that out, actually. We need a trade depot so that we can store freight uh, from our industry. Uh, another thing that we can look at doing um, sooner rather than later is getting a, a recycling center set up uh, so that we can start selling the alloys and the plastics that come out the back of that. It's a pretty good way of actually making uh, a ton of money. It doesn't actually affect your hourly income, uh, but the export deliveries that happen sort of every day or whatever uh, soon pile the money into your coffers and it's a very nice way of just keeping on top of things, not having to take out extra loans and stuff. We have no loans outstanding at the moment. Uh, we can probably lower uh, residential taxes for the uh, low wealth residents of our city and still stay in the green. That's very good. How's Tom Clark doing today? Mall level 2 is still 
not doing too well. It looks like everything else is doing okay, though. We sort of got on top of that. Apartment level, uh, what level was this? Four is still closed because nobody wanted to move in because there was some sort of issue with parks. And this one, of course, yeah. Okay, we had a bit of trouble with that one, I remember now. Uh, it looks like all the apartment levels, high wealth and medium wealth, uh, all six levels of this are doing well, and it's actually making us quite a bit of money. The uh, Uncle Phil Memorial Tower. We only have Dr. Phil now in Sipsopolis, uh, attracting high wealth people to the city. Bit of a shame. We're going to have to find some other sort of ultra-wealthy doctor or uncle uh, that can fill Uncle Phil's rather large shoes. I'm pretty sure he was a big guy. He was a big, tall guy. I don't know if you remember from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but he was always towering over everybody, especially Jeffrey, who was like two feet tall. God bless his soul. Uh, not the tallest man. Uncle Phil could pretty much just step on him at it any given time. Uh, and Jeffrey would just be like, no, I didn't even see that coming. He's so big and I am so small and I did not see that coming. Uh, so there you go. Big shoes to fill. I'm going to have to find somebody else to replace old uh, Uncle Phil. It's going to be a hard one. We're going to have to think long and hard about who is going to replace him. Shit, I don't even remember making this ferry terminal. Oh, look at this. We're getting 504 tourist riders a day. I think we uh, sort of set out to make Sipsopolis some sort of tourist destination. We want to get an expo center in so that we can start our Bon Jovi concerts and stuff. Now that we're making the big ones, we probably can do all that. Uh, so that'll be pretty good. That'll be our aim anyway. Uh, we sort of, uh, well, I say we. I won't blame us. I'll blame me. I can't make a sky bridge between these two mega towers because I've just completely capped this one out without making the sky bridge in the first place. I'm not even sure if, can you actually add a sky bridge in now? Services? No. The mega towers at max level, I don't even remember if I researched sky bridges. They're pretty cool actually. Uh, it, they sort of connect the mega towers up so that people have an alternate route other than the roads uh, to get between the mega towers. That's if they actually need to go to the other mega tower. Maybe one of your mega towers has like a ton of parks in it or something that uh, people from the other mega tower would like to go visit, not have to take the uh, the land routes or, or go on the maglevs. Personally, I would go down to the ground and take the maglevs because I think they're kind of cool, but maybe uh, other people wouldn't. I don't know. Uh, no shoppers here and no shoppers. What are our demands like? Let's just take a quick look. Uh, we've got lots of residential demand, uh, lots of medium wealth residential demand, uh, quite a bit of high wealth residential demand, not so much low wealth residential demand. Our commercial demand is pretty much non-existent and it looks like industrial demand is growing uh, ever so slightly. Fine. Let us get uh, a trade depot. We'll get a trade depot set up uh, somewhere around here possibly. Uh, so that we can get this recycling center set up and we can start selling the alloys and plastics. I think that's uh, probably a good way to start uh, so that I can get back into the swing of things. Uh, where do we want to set up this trade depot? We probably want to set it up... Um, we want to get rid of maybe some of this industry up here and make some room for our, um, our recycling center. Like this Triforce of Industry. Do you think maybe this Triforce of Industry has now been uh, made obsolete by the fact that we have this industrial sector down here. This is going to go eventually. Uh, we just sort of put this here uh, now to make some money and, and just sort of get on top of things, but eventually I don't think we're going to need this, and we certainly don't want the ground pollution uh, that it's causing anyway. Alright, fine. We're going to get rid of the Triforce here. We're going to get rid of the whole goddamn thing. Make a nice big area down here. Uh, so look at this. The Excitatorium. What's this fucking Excitatorium even doing here? Jesus Christ. Look at... I'm in hurricane mode again. I'm back in... I'm getting rid of all of this junk that doesn't need to be here. Uh, how much room does that leave us now for um, a recycling center? Oh shit, it's not even approved yet! We need a Department of Utilities! What the hell?! I didn't make that?! God damn it! Do we have anything? No, it's not approved yet! We need to get this! We need to upgrade our city hall! Uh, what's the next up- Oh shit! We need two, two, oh my god, we need 292,640 residents for our next upgrade. It's never gonna happen. We can't do it. It's, oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> Fucking crazy. I'm almost tempted to just start another city in the region so that we can get a free department of utilities. Or maybe we can actually just, can we actually, like, just delete City Hall and start again? I fucking wonder, actually. What do we have right now? We have a Department of Finance, by the look of it. And what did what was the other one we had? Tourism and... Fuck it. Is there any way... Oh, my God. Look at all of these. Look at this. Department of Education? 
Fucking, what are we even using the Department of Education for? And what are these people complaining about? Oh, yeah, it's the hazmat fires. God damn these hazmat fires. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, look at that. A towering inferno. It's the ultra-rich tower. They miss going to school. Also, it looks like there's many fires. Alright, fine. In the meantime... Let's just hop into the school menu and make sure that I've placed uh, bus stops all over the place. Uh, school bus stops? I have. Okay, I've actually not done too badly with those. I don't remember doing that. A lot of people were saying on Reddit that I should do that. I think I finally eventually did it all these weeks ago. <laughs> Fucking holy shit. What a goddamn mess. <laughs> Look at this. The fuck are the fire engines? Jesus Christ. The uh, Uncle Phil Memorial Mega Tower uh, was also just on fire as well. I guess we just have, like, no fire coverage. Uh, Department of, uh, whatchamacallit is probably needed as well. Safety. I always forget the name of that department, uh, for some reason. Uh, four buildings are burning down per day, apparently, uh, because of our lack of fire coverage. Look at that. We just lost building fire, building fire. Uh, we need to repair this now. It's going to cost us 10,000 big ones, if you can believe that. Jesus. Okay, we're back on track. Uh, it looks like we're in the hole now. 523 uh, big ones per hour. Water is becoming a massive problem as well. How are we so... I, I don't get it. How are we so without water right now? What has happened? Where, where, where is our water even coming? Oh yeah, it's this thing. Jesus Christ. Look at that. 107 kilogallons an hour. That's not enough? We're still in the red, big time. Look at that. We're very deficient in water. Okay, fine. We're going to have to set up some sort of water tower somewhere uh, as a makeshift just to help us out. Looks like we've got a water tower here. Uh, although, 40 um, kilogallons per hour, 40 or 39.7 now, uh, means that we're going to have to build like four of these. Holy shit. I do not want to make four of these. Of course... If I had a Department of Utilities in the region, I could make a water pumping station, uh, which would help us out straight away. Uh, I don't, though, uh, so there you go. God damn it. What the hell? What? I mean, 10 minutes after logging into Sipsopolis, already all going to hell. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, I mean, I say that. I can believe it. I deleted that whole industrial area as well unnecessarily because uh, I wanted to make a recycling center that I can't get. Uh... What, what did that just say? They're protesting what? People are protesting. There's no education. Oh, okay. Still? Holy shit. Uh, there should be education now. We made a primary school, I'm pretty sure. And we have... Uh, wow, look at all the students we have enrolled right now. That's a lot of students. Holy shit. I keep forgetting. Our population is so high. Look at that. 105,664 people. Crazy. All right. We're going to try this. We're going to try to delete City Hall and, uh, and get some different uh, departments in. If we can do that. I, I don't know if this is going to work or not, uh, but basically we're going to have to do it. I think what we want is a department of safety. We probably want a department of utilities as well, so we can make the big police station, the big fire station, uh, the recycling center, so that we can make some money, uh, and then possibly a... We don't need the Department of Education. We really do not need that Department of Education right now. If we get like a population of over 200,000, we get another upgrade, that'd be fine. Department of Finance, probably don't really need it right now either. Let's go for it. We're gonna demolish City Hall. My god. <laughs> I really don't know what this is going to do. Uh, we have a lot of money in the bank, though, and it looks like we're pretty flush uh, per hour as well. Let's uh, let's replace City Hall. Look at this. It's going to be a town hall uh, until we upgrade it completely uh, or not. Can we put it somewhere else? Should we put it somewhere else? Should we, like, designate a nice area for City Hall now that we've sort of got this city up and running? Oh, look at this. Like, maybe in this, like, commercial area. That might be nice. Or maybe like along here. This is a nice area down here for City Hall. Let's put it here. Look at that. It's going to fit really nicely in here. Along this nice av- There we go. Our City Hall is going here. Okay. It's closed and now hiring. What can we place? Oh shit, yeah. Look at that. It's worked. <laughs> Great. So we've sort of cheated. Uh, we need to actually- Oh no. We need to upgrade our city. Okay. Is it fully upgraded? Oh, it is! Oh, shit! You have to you have to let it fully upgrade again before you can unlock these. So I can only place the ones that I previously had. God damn it! 
I thought I thought I'd won there. I thought I'd beaten all of SimCity, but not quite. I have not beaten uh, SimCity. Okay, so Department of Transportation. What a complete waste of goddamn time. Jesus. Department of Tourism, Department of Education. Let's not place any of these right now. I don't think we're actually using Or oh, is it oh, or was it the streetcars that use the Department of I can't even remember. Let's see. Not approved. Oh, yeah, it's the bus terminals and everything. Okay, so we are going to need the Department of Transportation. I totally forgot that we even took that. God damn it. There we go. Uh, let us place the... Uh, we might as well just fucking place... Jesus Christ. We're going to place all of these things back. Just so we're back to where we were. God damn it all to hell. We're going to have to get an upgrade. Or at least... Oh, look at this. We can place this like nice and snug right in here. I like that, actually. Uh, not enough to actually do it, though. Let's just place it here. There we go. All right, fine. City Hall has been moved now, uh, and it costs us a lot of money to do it uh, for no actual benefit. We're going to have to uh, bolster our population big time uh, in order to get another upgrade, or we can just found another city in the region of Tape Trinity. I really didn't want to actually found another city. I was quite happy just playing one city in this region by myself, uh, and that was fine. Uh, but I might have to set up another city just so I can get the uh, Department of Safety and Department of Utilities. Holy shit. That is crazy. All right, fine. In the meantime, then, uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, we need to do something about this water. Uh, let's set up a couple of... We're going to have to just set up a couple of these now. It's going to be like a massive waste of money, and it's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, look, we can put a couple of them along the avenue here. Here we go. Look, we're going to place like two of them here. I think the water in this area sort of regenerates because it's so close to the coast. What's our deficit now? 30.4. We might be having some problems with control net as well. I wonder. Uh, what's going on here? Control net connected, 7,700. Maybe we're okay, actually. Holy shit, water is becoming just like this massive fucking problem where we don't have the means to produce it on a mass scale because we don't have this Department of Utilities. Jesus Christ. We're going to place one another one here just so that we can sort of sort this out in the short term uh, and then look at placing it in the long term. My God. Crap. It's depressing. I feel a bit depressed. <laughs> My God, I thought I was coming. I came back to Sipsopolis and I thought it's gonna be great. We're gonna make a ton of money. We're gonna be able to sell a bunch of shit from our recycling center. Can't make it. Uh, maybe we could delete our city hall and and replan what kind of departments we need. You can't do it. I'm really depressed. I feel really, really depressed about the whole thing. Ah, it'll be all right. Okay, fine. Uh, let us at least get this trade depot then. We'll get the trade depot set up up here so that we can accept freight and deliver it to all of our local businesses. Look, we're going to just get the trade depot set up right here. Fine. Uh, we'll let that open. We'll place the very important sign uh, that we need so that everybody knows that the trade depot is indeed here. We have one freight shipping warehouse, uh, which is fine for now. We can add more if we need it. Uh, and at least now the industry has a place to store its freight uh, when it doesn't uh, need to go directly to the commercial enterprises of Sipsopolis uh, straight away. So that's fine. Uh, that should help us uh, with things like this, where these abandoned buildings are uh, abandoning because there's not enough freight shipments. What a bunch of whiny bastards. Holy shit. I mean, seriously, if that was my big commercial building, I would just invent my own freight and things to sell. I would just find like old pieces of string and stuff on the ground next to the elevator, and I would sell that. I would just, I would sell any goddamn thing I could to make sure that my business was still running. That is the Sipsco way, and I think a lot of the businesses in Sipsopolis uh, should remember that and maybe try to learn something from that. Look at these. Look at look at these. The systemic risk group. Holy shit! Some of these buildings look really nice, and others uh, look. There's not enough room for these. We're gonna have to replan some of this. I think there's not enough room to increase the density here. Uh, we've just fallen into the hole massively again. 1,082 an hour is probably something to do with. Uh, maybe not actually. Everything seems to be fine there and fine here as well. Ma the both mega towers seem to be profitable at the moment. Uh, it's probably something to do with the fact that we lost. Oh, uh, look at that! There weren't enough places to ship freight, so we lost that big bread company that used to be there. <laughs> God damn it! It's crazy to think that 1,000 an hour uh, is being generated from that big bread company that has just decided to leave Sipsopolis. It's because Uncle Phil's not around anymore to keep these people in check. 
Uh, Uncle Phil previously would have gone straight over to that bread factory and he would have said, Quit complaining, you bastards. Just suck it up and just try to sell more bread. Even if nobody wants to buy the bread, just try anyway. Just do your best, sell the bread, keep going, keep making the big ones for Sipsopolis. Uh, and he would have he would have really slammed his foot down. Of course, he wouldn't have checked to see if Jeffrey was underneath uh, or, or anything because he was so small. And uh, Uncle Phil wouldn't have been able to detect him because he's so s short and small. But still, he would have slammed that foot right down and he would have gotten the job done. And that's the important thing. Fine. Uh, okay, so climbing back up 866 uh, per hour. My god, I'm really sorry about that. This has been a, a really terrible episode. Possibly the worst, actually. It feels like we got nothing done. There's another massive hazmat fire over here that I can't do anything about because I need a population of over 290,000. I don't even know if these cities can support that much population. Look at that. The, uh, the traffic is just abysmal in this game to begin with. Uh, I can't imagine having more population than we currently have and uh, everything actually working. I mean, at 106,249, the city's barely working. Look at that. We're losing a shit ton of money because of all these stupid hazmat fires. We've got industry, high-tech industry that we can't support because we have no department of safety. Uh, we can't get hazmat fire trucks and all the buildings keep burning down. There's shit all we can do about it until we set up another city uh, and get the other departments that we're missing. We might just have to fucking do that. And in fact, actually, next episode we'll come back and we will do that. Uh, so there we go. Uh, let's end there for now. Uh, this has been another episode uh, in Sipsopolis. Uh, next episode, uh, tune in. We're going to make a new city. We're going to found a new city in Tape Trinity. Uh, we're going to do it right this time. We're going to get everything else that we need uh, for the region. And we'll come back over to Sipsopolis and fix it up uh, when we can. We'll make some big ones. Uh, we'll make, get some utilities, Department of Utilities, uh, utility buildings uh, in Sipsopolis and help it out so we can get rid of all of these extra white water towers that we don't need. Uh, we'll get rid of all this industry and we'll make this into a tourist mecca um, eventually. My god. Thank you for bearing with me. Thanks as usual for watching and see you next time.